COVID-19 is taking its toll on Corpus Christi's budget. City Manager Peter Zanoni broke down the numbers in a presentation before the City Council today. One of his findings was unexpected and actually unrelated to the coronavirus. Our Seth Kovar joins us right now to explain. The presentation here included shortfalls that were expected, like the one at the airport with so many people flying these days. But the multi-million dollar loss in the wastewater department, that was a surprise, and it had nothing to do with COVID-19. At the daily COVID-19 afternoon press conference, City Manager Peter Zanoni made no mention of the presentation he made earlier in the day to the City Council about city budget shortfalls. There are several, and all but one have COVID-19 to blame. The $9 to $11 million deficit of the wastewater department is the exception, and it caught District 5 Councilman Gil Hernandez's attention. It just compounds the overall problems that we're facing with the budget. Problems like a $14 to $21 million shortfall for the city's general fund because of sagging sales tax revenue amid the pandemic. The airport's budget deficit that I mentioned is 2 to $3 million. And with restaurants either closed or operating at low capacities, the water department's budget has a shortfall of between 3 and $7 million. But with the wastewater budget, it's not a virus, but humans to blame. My speculation is that we didn't get all the checks and balances that we needed to on the uh, wastewater modeling. Modeling done by an outside consultant that Hernandez indicated the city would replace. When it comes to making up for all the deficits, he and Mayor Joe McComb have several ideas. I feel comfortable based on our revenues and, and our reserves, excuse me, and the management of the city manager that uh, uh, we'll see a little blip, but it's not going to be a... Uh, a sinkhole, uh, from what I can tell. It's going to take some cuts. It's going to take some, you know, you know, financial jujitsu, <laughs> so to speak, uh, in order to try and make sure we 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 mi minimize the effect it has on the community. And of course, the presentation included today's numbers. As those figures change, we'll be sure to update you right here. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris Six News.